In this lecture, we will learn about how stacking and unstacking operations are carried out during exception. Let me explain this to you with an animation. Let's say the processor is executing the task A and it is using MSP as its current stack pointer. On the right hand side, you can see the MSP is currently pointing to the last stacked item onto the stack memory. When the exception occurs, you can see that processor automatically pushed many register onto the stack before executing the exception handler and uh, MSP again pointing to the last item onto the stack memory. Also, you can observe that mode of the processor is changed to handler mode and now the processor is executing the exception handler. The contents which, which are uh, stacked onto the stack memory are called a stack frame. As you can see here, registers R0 to R3 are passed onto the stack along with uh, R12 link register that is LR, the return address and the XPSR which is a processor status register. So totally 32 bytes have been pushed onto the stack. When the processor finishes the execution of the exception handler, it will do an exit from the exception. So when it exits the exception handler, it pops back all the register contents and resumes executing task A from the point to where it left during entry into the exception. Popping back is called unstacking operation. Remember the stacking and unstacking operations during exception entry and exit are taken care by the processor automatically.